Welcome to Reef Diary. Uh, today I had a situation that I wanted to address. Uh, when I mixed up my saltwater vat probably six weeks ago, I messed up. I used too much salt. Somehow I probably put in an extra one of those small buckets of salt and pushed myself to 1.035 salinity. It's too high. The specific gravity needs to come down. And so I used Hazmat's calculator. If I wanted to get 1.035 to 1.026, I need to add 87 more gallons of RODI to my 250 gallon batch of salt water that's in a container that holds 250 gallons of salt water. So there's no cure for that. But uh, cranking out some numbers, I, you know, like for example, if I took out 50 gallons, I thought, will that be enough space to put in the RODI? Well, if I take out 50 of the two salty water, I will end up needing to put in 68.7 gallons of RODI to dilute it correctly which is still more than the container can hold. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this barrel right behind me here. I'm gonna take 40 gallons out of the container. I'm gonna go ahead and put 13 gallons of RODI, that'll put me right, or 13 and a half, it's something like 14. I'll have 54 gallons of salt water at the right salinity in the barrel for a water change on the tank. And then I'll do that a second time. I will take 40 gallons out of the big vat. I will put in 14 gallons of RODI and get the right salinity do a second water change and after two water changes there'll be 80 gallons out of the big poly tank and there'll be enough room to put RODI to fill it up to the top with the right salinity for my reef for future water changes. Rather than putting the blue barrel in this area of my room and just taking up space I'm going to leave it in the kitchen area at the end of the tank and so I went ahead and I ran this tubing that comes from this valve through the edge of the tank and it's going to go into this barrel and then my RO water is right here so I can go ahead and just put that in here as well to add the water I need to dilute it. If you look closely, you can see it says 250. Then there's some dots, three, two, one. And then right here it says 200. So I'm gonna drain it down from two, four, 250 to 210. And as you can see, it's already dropped about 10 gallons or so. I'm gonna stop at the blue tape. making progress and that's it. So now the water is going back up and into the container. Now it's time to add the RODI water and I'm just going to go ahead and run that line back there into here and let it add 14 gallons of water over the next couple of hours. I noticed that the clamp has a round hole on both sides and it actually helps hold the tubing in place beautifully so I don't have to worry about it flopping out. And I set the timer on my phone to two and a half hours so I will definitely check on progress. So here's the oral water going in and I've got it going in in a noisy way to keep my attention so I don't forget about it. And I figure in about two and a half hours, two and three quarter hours, I'll have added enough water to dilute this cr properly to the desired salinity of 1.026. And then once that's correct, I'll go ahead and add a heater and of course some circulation, and I'll make sure that alkalinity, salinity, and temperature match my reef, and I can go ahead and do my water change. That's it for today, and I'll do another one tomorrow, and now I can go ahead and start filling up the big vat because the other 40 gallons is already inside the blue barrel.